Welcome to the Raise 3D Forge 1 printer. This video will guide you through the unpacking and setting up process to successfully install Forge 1. Please note that the custom packaging in which the machine arrives is designed to protect the device during shipment. When unpacking, you should check whether there is any damage to the product or any items missing. If there is any item that is damaged or missing, please contact your distributor or raise 3D after sales service in your area. The size of the Forge 1 printer package is 74 cm by 74 cm by 94 cm, and the size of the frame is 75 cm by 75 cm by 88 cm. First, prepare an area to install and operate Forge 1. The working area should be separated from other machines or tools that may generate dust or sparks. The minimum area should be 200 cm in width, 200 cm in depth, and 200 cm in height. To make operation and maintenance easier, keep a clearance of 50 cm on the side of the printer, 80 cm at the front, 20 cm at the back, and 60 cm on top during installation. Anything flammable must be kept away from the installation location. Now let's start. Place the printer in an open area and carefully remove the outer packaging. Cut the packaging ties with scissors or a utility knife, then use the utility knife to cut the tape along the top of the cardboard box. Inside the box, are 5 international power cords, and a hex wrench set. Keep them nearby for further use. Select the correct cable for your printer. Remove the top foam and the packing materials. Then take out the cardboard. Remove the plastic bag, take the printer from the foam padding, and carefully place the printer in an open area. Locate the four zip ties and remove them. It is recommended to unclip these as opposed to cutting them. They can be reused if you need to transport your machine in the future. Peel off the yellow stickers and remove the 24 security spacers. Do not operate the printer with the clips installed. Otherwise, once the printer is operated, the spacers will cause damage to the printer. Please store the removed clips to be used in subsequent transportation. Cut off the two snap rings at the bottom of the Z-axis with scissors and remove the label. Select the supplied hex head wrenches, and remove the four hex screws located on the top of the filament bars on the left and right side of the printer. Please store the removed clips and screws for use during transport. Plug the machine into a wall outlet using the correct power adapter for your country. Flip the switch to power the unit on. Enter the wizard and choose the language of the printer. Ensure that all ties, safety tags, screws and clips have been removed. Select yes and the print platform will automatically lift. Remove the glass build plate in the toolbox. Click on next and wait until the platform has been lowered to 150 mm, and the screen indicates that the glass build plate will be installed after the platform has stopped falling. Install the glass build plate. Firmly push the glass plate into the back clip and tighten the front clip.
Cut the packing belt. Remove the outer box and around 8 pieces of foam. Remove the two screws in the longitudinal direction to move the top cover. The top two pieces of foam are automatically lowered, and we can remove them with the top cover. Please remove the two screws in the horizontal direction. Then, remove the holder frame. Now let's start installing Forge 1. Remove the four dome head screws and four countersunk screws on top of the printer with a 2.5mm hex wrench. To avoid it interfering during the installation of the top cover assembly, Remove the 1M 3x6 screw as circled in the figure above from the cover of the PC flat cable box, and put the screw into the toolbox. Locate and pull out the ends of the filament's runout sensor cable from the bottom of the holder frame right panel during installation. Locate the pairing socket in the cover of the electric control system. Connect the two ends in the socket. This step is a two-person operation. When placing the top cover assembly on top of the printer, one person should pull and press the cable chain to avoid the top cover crushing it. With the high-strength material of the PC cable, there is no need to worry the cable chain will break off, align the four screw holes on each part. Secure the top cover assembly to the printer by tightening the 4M 4x25 flat head screws with a 3mm hex wrench. Adjust the location of the door magnet assembly. It should be 38 plus or minus 4M from the right door frame as indicated in the figure. Please use the hex wrench to fix the top cover door magnet to the front door profile. Place the holder frame on top of the printer, with all four screw holes aligned with each piece. Tighten 4M 4x25 dome head screws with a 3mm hex wrench to attach the holder frame to the printer. Load the filament, and we take the left nozzle as an example. For details, please refer to Chapter G of the Forge 1 user manual. Set up the machine name, network, and make other settings with the startup wizard on the touch screen.
Then it will enter into the three-step offset calibration, and it will take approximately 30 to 60 seconds to boot up. Finally, the touch screen displays the home screen and the printer is ready. With this the unpacking and installation process is completed.